All right, so we started a new league. Uh, currently 2-0 in matches that we played so far, though. That sounds reasonable. We have our manas, which is great. But we just need to draw some more spells, and we'll be golden. At least, you know, that's the hope, right? If you draw lands and spells, you're supposed to win. That's how it's supposed to work. So here we'll probably just go after forest. I guess we duress our opponent. Could also wait, but if we draw like a Nissa or something, we're just gonna want to play it. So okay, well our opponent is Nasif Screen Black Aristocratsy thing. Uh, probably not the great the greatest matchup. Kind of say that about every matchup though, just the nature of being the Abzan guy. It's like all your matchups are just fine, <laughs> and that's it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I want to sack my land, but maybe not, since I drew a Catacomb Sifter. Uh, so Forest, and then we can fetch a Plains. I kind of want to get a dual land with that, though, even though we can't get black with it anyway, but it'd be nice to have the white source uh, for the Shambling Vent and an additional green source. So we have, we have the big stopper for the Carrier Thrall, big 2-3 butt. So we were talking about drawing a Nyssa, Catacomb Sifter, obviously a pretty reasonable draw. Glad we duressed when we did, because we want to play Rhino next turn. And yeah. Well, maybe not. Now now maybe we might want to kill the Harris Specs, but I think I just want to jam Rhino. Oh, and we can kill the, the A-Bomb too, that's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to attack. Because you can just chump with the Thrall and draw a card. That sounds pretty awful for me. Oh, this might be bad, though, actually. Like, if he plays Abomination this turn, uh, we're going to want to ruin his path that, and then he's going to draw a card. So maybe we should have just played Reef Soul on the Harris Specs and then had Ruinous Path for the A-Bomb the next turn if you want to play it then. Because now we can reef the Harris Specs, but then he's going to draw a card upkeep with the A-Bomb. So we're not really stopping our opponent from drawing cards, which is possibly a mistake. Ooh, Murderous Cuts. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Classic, just never getting punished evers. Uh, so what happens if I send all of my animals? Does he, does he block the A-bomb on something, or does... I guess if I had Abzan Charm, I would just use it to exile the A-bomb, so maybe the Scion should just knock it in there. Yeah, this is... well, this is kind of silly. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack with everyone and then kill the A-bomb. Get, uh... should we get the Vista, I guess? We have a bunch of red already. We draw Tassiger. Might want Reef Soul. Probably not, though. Probably should have just exiled the spells. Because Den Protector or Tasker would be better just better served just getting Murderous Cut back than Reef Soul anyway. So opponent's down to eight. So we're kinda kinda taking them to Pound Town here. This is great. We have successfully drawn all spells. <laughs> just the way we drew it up. Uh, now if we draw land, we can turn our Scion into a 4-4. Can't attack with it this turn, but... Uh, we drew an Utter End instead. That's not the worst. So we could attack with Rhino and Sifter. It might double block Thralls on the Sifter, and then we can just Utter End the Harris Specs. I think I'm fine with that trade. Could be... Could be wrong about that. No, this has got to be better. Because then it gets some two power things off the board. And then lets our, our Rhino be more likely to, to get in there. Uh, this is also acceptable. I'm definitely fine with this. It's probably the best of all the worlds I could have imagined. So 
So it make him just chump with a thrall instead of actually killing our sifter. I like it. Ooh, Liliana. Oh, good thing we just ruined his path that. Good thing Liliana doesn't work with tokens. Liliana with scions would be pretty busted. Get our other black red land. Cast with Awaken. I don't think we need this mountain. Get our scry on. Eh, hanger back is fine. It's not great. Probably good enough to keep though. And then he can't double block the sifter because then Rhino would kill him. And he just scoops up all of his permanents. Alright. Booked. Booked. Uh, do we want Virulent Plague? Plague is kind of good. It's like equally good against both of us, I think. I think I just want the Sweepers, probably the Soren. Utter End is just kind of like a meh removal spell. I don't really care about the Exile outside of Hangerback. Obnixilis seems okay, but not great. Tasker is reasonable. Tark is pretty good. I don't think we want Evil Leap. I could be wrong about that, though. It's entirely possible we want, like, Leap Truths. So what am I doing here? Do I want do I want this other end? Probably not. We have a lot of cards we have to cut. Yeah, it's possible I just don't want the sifters actually. I do have hanger backs to block nonsense and Tassiger. Sifter plus Soren might be a way to to stay alive through all their random nonsense. It's going to be tough to, like, grind him down to nothing. So it's possible that Soren just giving me the life boost might be nice. Might be able to get me up to a Tarka mana. Yeah, I think I want these removal spells. Reef Soul is, like, pretty awkward since it doesn't tag the A-bomb. It's like, I just want to kill Harrispex and that's about it. So, yeah, maybe the Reef Souls are bad. Play one Utter End, one Murderous Cut. And yeah, I'll cut a sifter and a sorin, I guess. Not sure exactly how grindy this matchup is supposed to be. I feel like they just get out in front and then they kind of just dominate. Uh, so I don't think things like Evo Lee, Painful Truths, Obnixilis are really warranted. Yeah, this looks fine to me. We'll try this. See how game two plays out. See if we need to make any adjustments. And our hands all removal, which is generally not very good against uh, an Aristocrats deck. Because they don't really care if their stuff dies for the most part. But opponent definitely has stuff that I want to tag with hard removal. Like the Harris Specs and the A-Bombs. Alright, so we could play Bloodstained Mire, get a Swamp, Winslow of Peace, get a Forest. And then again, we have all our mana, but... Uh, we don't have, uh, we will not have mana to activate Shambling Vent, unfortunately, but that's okay. That might come later. So I think I want to get a Forest first off, because if I draw like a Swamp, maybe the Mire wants to get a Red-Green Duel. I think that's my concern, is not having enough green rather than... Uh, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Because it's possible this Heath wants to get a Plains if I draw a Forest too, but... Eh. I already have two black mana already. So I think it's more likely that I want the Mire to translate into green than the Heath to translate into white, but who knows. I'm sure I could crunch some numbers. Do some mathing. All right, I'm pretty sure that Harrispex has to die. Okay, so this can get green-white. So we'll mire into a swamp. Ruin his path. This thing, 
Uh, save the murderous cut because I think it being cheap will be kind of nice. And definitely attack for one because I don't really want to trade it for a thrall quite yet. Only just get a thopter. Sounds kind of mopey. And then two go husk. That's a reasonable card. Might want to kill that. Ooh, radiant flames. That's pretty tight. So if he plays the abomination, you may just want to cut the husk in response. On tap, Abzan charm away the a bomb. Could also see potentially uh, radiant flamesing the a bomb. So do I want to respond to this cutthroat? Because I'm probably going to kill something this turn. I'm kind of low. So yeah, I'll cut this husk. I'll cut him down. I'm not giving the option. Plus, I'm probably going to cut the husk anyway, so... Might be nice. I'm kind of low. I'm at 14 to not just get... Randomly dinged by the cutthroat. So I don't think we have to flames quite yet. So it might be better to just play the den protector. Then we're probably going to have to Flames away around Den Protector, but... Yeah, that's kind of silly. Maybe I just want to draw cards. Drawing cards is sweet. Ugh. Uh, back in the day, we used to call this the old Temple of Tilt. Not the actual jungle hollow, but it's like, pretty sure my opponent needs their fourth mana, and it comes into play tapped, so, kind of a tilt. Still think I kind of want to draw two cards. What to do, what to do. I think it is cast Radiant Flames for two. And then I'll probably sack Cutthroat to Husk, and then we can Abzan Charm the Husk. So red, red... So this is not, uh, oh, okay, he's going to sack the Scion, too. Okay. I'm down with that. Oh, I should have actually, Abzan, Tr no, I couldn't, because the plus two, plus two goes on the stack first. Never mind. Ideally, I would Abzan, Charm, the Husk, and then, uh, Abzan, Charm, the Husk before the Scion comes into play, so he can't, I guess he was going to be able to sack it. He can just sack it to himself. Never mind. I'm just talking a bunch of nonsense here. Mono nonsensical happenings. So now, even if my opponent plays something uh, that I want to kill, I can still, like, DP it back. DP back the murderous cut and kill it. So I think I'm better off just attacking. I could also just, like, defend. 
Well, now he's going to collect a company. I think I want this hanger back on D. If he hits something sweet, can Den Protector back the cut. I don't think there's anything really sweet that he can hit, though. Sifter Harris backs? Alright, so yeah, we probably want to cut this Harris backs before he gets the Sifter token. Then he does not have the option. Uh, this fetch line can get cinder glades. So I think I just want swamp. Then he doesn't have the option of sacking his thing to to draw crad and scry. I think we might want to leave the radiant flames chilling for right now. It's possible we want to bring that back later at some point. We need some Atarkas. We need to just smash our opponent. Rhino would be nice too. Could use that life buffer. I guess the Sorin does end up mattering. Alright, we're out of removal and our opponent has an A-bomb. That's pretty good. Maybe we were a bit hasty. Especially since we are very low on life. But I don't know, if I let him have the Harris Becks, ooh, Languish. If I let him have the Harris Becks, uh, then he plays A-Bomb, and we get to cut the A-Bomb, but he gets to sack the Scion for two cards and a Scry, so I don't know. I think this is fine. I think I just want to languish away the hanger back and get a bunch of tokens. Because I'm going to have a follow up hanger back regardless. I think I'd rather have tokens. So we've drawn pretty well in both of these games. Oh man, now if we draw a Soren, we just we just go off. Opponent is at sixteen though, it might be kinda tough. Maybe we do want the Evo Leaps, because it seems like, you know, from this state, Evo Leap would just be game over, you know? Eventually, we'd, we'd find a bunch of Rhinos or Den Protectors, and eventually find a Tarka. And just smash all his stuff. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So make 4-4 four, four, or draw a card. Just make 4-4. Four, four. And we can keep Hanger back and Ashaya back. Put our opponent to 10, we go up to 7 because of the Shambling Vents. 
<clears throat> now I don't think we're in danger of necessarily getting drained out or anything. It's possible we're we're forcing our opponent to like chump block this turn, which might be nice, depending on what they have. So we are able to stay in the game, albeit at a somewhat low life total. But yeah, I'm gonna try the Evo leaps if we go to game three. Evo leaps more Soren. Probably just get rid of the Utter End and maybe the Sifters, the remaining Sifters that I have, even though Sifter's kind of good with Evo Leap. Yeah, because just these hands with all removal are not very good. They can grind through that pretty easily. I want to use my Sweepers to keep their board clear and then <clears throat> eventually just put them in a bad spot with like a Siege Rhino or an Atarka. Uh, but if I don't have the creatures, the removal is not going to do enough. I really need the creatures to pressure them. So I do think the leaps are good. I've done all the sweet stuff. I've like, you know, I drew two cards with Abzan Charm. I flipped a Nissa, flipped a Den Protector, cashing a hanger back for a bunch of tokens. And it's like the game is still relatively close. If they want to take the turn off to Rogue's Passage and kill my Nissa, I'd be fine with that. All right, second cutthroat. That's kind of what I was scared of. You know, cutthroat into husk. And I might be in trouble. It's weird that their only play is cutthroat. Might have a murderous cut or something. I don't know. Yeah, another radiant flames. It's kind of cool. Might just die off that though. What if we attack with everyone? Does he chump with his two cutthroats? Try and draw some cards. Draw some cards, deal me some damage. If I attack with everyone, he has to block a Shia. Yeah, just has to block a Shia and that's it. Or murderous cut a Shia, I guess. Almost certainly want to send in the Shambling Vent, though. Maybe he's going to kill the Shambling Vent. Maybe that's the plan. So maybe we should just get him in the air with the Thopters. This might be a bad plan. This might be one of those turns where I'm supposed to actually just be attacking and like whittling down their board. Uh, but it seems kind of risky. Could also flames for two. He would drain me for six. Yuck. Yeah, we'll try just killing them with Thopters. We'll see what happens. All right. Yeah, because if we sent anything into the Cutthroat and he double blocks, or if he blocks with both Cutthroats, then we'd be in range of dying to Rogue's Passage. So yeah, maybe we should have just sent the ground creatures, I guess. Including the Shambling Vents. Maybe that maybe that was bad. Maybe I should have attacked with everything and then like post-combat Radiant Flames. It does kill all my tokens though. Well, this is interesting. Basically needs to have Murderous Cut then, right? The Rogue's Passing, the Harris Specs, put me to four, and then that would put me at lethal if I attacked with uh, my ground creatures if they cut the Shambling Vent, because they could block the Hanger Back, block the Ashaya. I assume he's attacking me, yep. Yeah, we should just draw Soren so we can win the game.
Magic gets significantly harder when there are two Zulaport Cutthroats on the opponent's side. We do have a lot of live draws, though. Like, any removal spell probably wins us the game. Hangerback Walker is not really it. There's another land, so that doesn't help. <clears throat> yep, so now we have to send in the vent. And if that gets cut, then we're just kind of dead. Maybe I send in one fatty. Because then if he double blocks, I can just put all the damage on one. And then I can flames away the remaining stuff. I think it should be Hanger back because I kind of want to flames this thing away and get my tokens back. Yeah, so I assume my vent is going to get caught. Yep. Alright, we sniffed it out. Nope, Cinderglade. Rending Volley? What? Just thought I had Anafenza, I guess? Alright, that's like the same thing. Oh yeah, I can't I can't flames them both away. I lied. Oh, so now I'm just dead. <clears throat> so if I flames for two, I die to cutthroat triggers. And if I flames for one, he just rogues passages me. But I think that's the only way I can really win. So he didn't have the, the thing last turn, right? Didn't have a fetch land, so maybe I blew it? Maybe he, was, he did have a removal spell? Maybe he just has cut and volley. I don't know. Would have been sick if I had Abzantra on there. Yeah. So I have to keep open this black mana. Try and bluff some murderous cut that doesn't exist. And give myself another shot of uh, drawing some stuff to kill my opponent here. Man, Sea Drano would have been good too. Oh, yeah, I, I couldn't just flames for one in attack. Eh, maybe I should have flames for two in attack with everyone the turn before. That would have put me to one. And then, I forget what my opponent was at. I think they were at 10. So I flames for two. I have two 4-4s four and a Shambling Vent. And one of them gets killed. But I'm at one life. Yeah, so that was, that was probably the punt. Cycling a Hanger back with the Grim Hair Specs. Love it. Dude, just try and kill me. I have nothing. I would probably not let you cycle hanger back if I had a murderous cut, but it's hard to say. Maybe I would to try and, because if he goes for it, 
and then I kill his thing, then he has five mana taps. So yeah, maybe maybe I do just let it go. Even if I had the cut. I don't know. Interesting game. I feel like I blew it. Probably sideboarded poorly too. Yeah, I need that Soren to not get burned out by these cutthroats, pretty much. Nice flavor text on the cutthroat. Dude, just kill me. Hmm. Well, hair specs is pretty creepy. That is creepy. All right, what are the odds that we get killed this turn? I'm guessing it's, uh, you know, 100%, but... Opponent does not know either of my cards. Yeah, we're getting Rogue's Passaged. All right, kill me. Let's do it. Oh, Rhino. Rhino on top. Well, do I want these sifters? Do I want both other ends? Probably don't even want the other ends. Opponent is sending me messages that I cannot read because I'm in between games. Uh, maybe the Tassigers aren't good. Dude, he keeps sending me so many messages. Don't understand. Uh, maybe Tasker is bad. Looks so languish and everything, which is kind of nice. Don't really want to leap into it, though. That's kind of the problem. So maybe I should cut a Sifter. Sifter seems nice for not taking that early damage. Probably want to cut a Den Protector because I don't have a lot of A, cheap things to return, and B, uh, early stuff to return. I'm mostly just like playing creatures in the early turns now. Well, that sounds good. Don't know how to fetch. Stupid mountain. Uh, so I have to get black red with the foothills. Oh, that's so bad, because then Heath has to get green white. Yeah, so can't cast the Absent Charm with how my hand is stacked up right now. But I think we have to get black red regardless. And we might just play Hanger back on two off the mountain. Seems kind of silly. No, nah, probably what we end up doing is just getting Forest and flipping DP to get my Heath back to get my planes. That might make more sense. Well, there's a Nissa, so we're Forest rich. So I think I'm supposed to play DP face down this turn. I feel like opponent probably can't kill it, but who knows. If they kill it, good beats. Play Nissa. Take up Hanger back. We'll draw white eventually. Got a Radiant Flames now to buy some time. I ain't scared of no Carrier Thrall. I'm kind of scared of that Grim Harris Bex. Yeah, take it. Take it all. There's a Bloodstained Mire. That doesn't get white, though.
All right, 16 to 16. I don't think we're doing too bad this game. Uh, we are a little bit behind, because if he plays like an A-bomb this turn, we're not going to be able to kill his hair specs and A-bomb, but we can kill the A-bomb. Hopefully he doesn't have anything to sack. To the hair specs. We'll see, though. I don't think I mind if I draw a land, so I think I'll just leave this Heath. Blitzing Mire, not the right land. That one doesn't really help me. Might as well just get green white, I suppose. Our opponent's going to cast a company. Could get like an Antuco husk. I think we just attack with DP. In response to the company, we'll exile the hair specs because we don't want them to hit a husk. So it gives them a little bit of information, which is not great. Could, for example, just pick up another hair specs and then just like, oh, all right. But if he gets like hair specs husk, pretty bad. Start drawing a bunch of cards. All right, two cutthroats. Yeah, it's pretty good against my radiant flames. I will block your carrier thrall though. I will happily block it. Well, now we don't want any more of these black lands, I think. So we'll get that one. The other Blood Saint Mark can get a Cinder Glade. We so choose to use it. Ooh, Rhino, that's good. That is good. I like my life points. I do like my life points. Now maybe we can force through some damages next turn. Opponents at seven. They're probably going to gain a bunch off the cutthroat, though. So another company. Fetching to, like, thin their deck is fine, but not if they have to shuffle, like, four bad cards from the bottom back into their deck. It's possible that, you know, you just, like, company into six creatures or whatever. And so you want to shuffle the other four back in, but, well, now this one bricked, so that's kind of justice. Half brick on the Siftar. So we'll be able to play Nyssa, get a forest, flip Nyssa, flames for three... Keeping alive our two four power creatures. Then we can either make it a shy or draw a card, however we feel. Ooh, roasty toasty. Alright, maybe maybe this turn we're just taking a bunch of damages. Well, that could be a problem. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's not lethal, but through combat it might be lethal. But if that's the case, I'm not sure you really needed to roast my rhino. Maybe I needed to have one less blocker. It's entirely possible. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to play the rhino. Oh, you're not even attacking. That's good. Good for me. Okie doke, what are we doing here?
probably attack to force some action. So he can, he can drain me for 11. Yeah, I think he was one short of lethal last turn. Alright, so if I attack with the DP... Oh yeah, this might be good. This might be good. Attack with the DP. Do I want to attack with the hanger back too? No, because I'm going to play Charm and Flames. Oh, man. You're supposed to, like, try and sack something and block so I can charm it. And then you'd have to, like, sack your board if you want to drain me. And then... Or you just let your husk die and then I get to flames your board. Maybe I should have attacked with the hanger back then. Maybe he would have actually sacked something to husk. Hmm... Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I need to crack my fetch land if I want to play Flames for three and Abzan Charm. My opponent gets to scry a million times. Flames it up. Goodbye, Den Protector. You served me well. You were my sole source of white mana this game. Maybe I should charm the husk now? I think I'm fine with whatever he sacks, though. Maybe it's better to just not have to charm the husk. These games are so complicated. I can't imagine, like, playing from their side. Definitely tested with various decks like these. It's not a huge benefit to Charming now, but I get to use my mana. Uh, it's possible that he just like draws and passes and then I don't actually get to Charm the Husk. So I think I want to just kill it right now, but that could be bad. I probably don't want to F6 either. I think I'd rather just have a counter on my hanger back, but... Okay, it's a Liliana, but you only have a Scion, so that's okay. I don't have a cheap enough removal spell, unfortunately. Do you think I just want to make a 4-4 and then get back Siege Rhino? Doesn't seem like the best course of action. Oh, the jungle hollow. Always gets me. Man, where my Tark is at? Or my Soren?
Oh, more land. It's okay. I think we're doing all right. Bring in the pain. Oh, what's the worst that happens? Collect a company and then I die. But I think they drew the jungle hollow. And if they had company, they would have played it. So I'm just going to operate under the assumption they don't have it, even though I probably don't have to. So they're at seven. I got a bunch of nonsense. And I think we, uh, we navigated our way through this. Despite some mishaps in game two. All right, all right. So currently 3-0 with the uh, Abzan Red deck. So we'll head on into our fourth and I believe final match for the night.